There are many ways to build wealth, and most of what is preached when it comes to building your wealth by investing in real estate is slow and steady wins the race. You know, invest for the long term and be patient. But you want to make money now. You will be rich now. Who doesn't, right? But how? Well, over the past five years, I've been building my wealth by investing in real estate. However, it wasn't until about three years ago that I started using a real estate investing strategy that really builds your wealth fast. Sure, you can build your wealth you know, using the most known real estate investing strategies such as fix and flipping. However, this method is very risky. It requires a ton of capital out of your own pocket. Unless you're rich and can flip expensive homes to make big profits fast, you're gonna have to start like I did, buying cheap homes that you can afford, fix them up and then sell them, making much smaller profits and then repeating the process a ton to build enough wealth to then buy the expensive homes to flip. But again, this method requires a lot of work and a lot of capital and it's very high risk. So what is the method I've used to build equity fast and it's not the fix and flip strategy? Well, watch until the end of this video to find out. Hey, it's Tyler, 2015 Crew Magazine Investor of the Year and your real estate investing educator. I'm so glad you landed on my channel where I'm, where I'm always sharing tips, strategies, just tons of information on how to start investing in real estate and all the benefits from investing in real estate. So subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video each week. Building wealth fast. Let's just jump right on the strategy I now use, which I call the be higher also known as the buy, hold, improve, increase rents strategy. Yeah, I know it's not that catchy as a fix and flip or buy triple R, but it's the best I could come up with. So if you can do better, by all means, leave a comment below. I won't be offended. And if it's good, I'll probably use it. So this strategy, it's nothing new. You know, you just don't hear many people talk about it because it's not as sexy and popular as fix and flipping. And it does require you to tie up your capital in the property. So many people don't use it instead using the other popular strategy, uh, which is another one is this buy, renovate, rent and refinance real estate investing strategy known as the B triple R. However, both of these methods require a lot of capital. You need the down payment funds and then you need the renovation funds. That's a lot of capital. Most of us just don't have this kind of money lying around. Plus with the B triple R strategy, since you, are still gonna hold on to the property after you renovated and refinanced it, which if done right, allows you to pull out your capital to then reinvest in the next property. You know, financing becomes an issue. This happened to me because when you refinance, your new higher mortgage due to the increase in the value of the property results in your debt levels increasing. And unless your income can justify the increase to maintain a good debt ratio so you can borrow, the banks are you know, eventually gonna say no. On top of that, there is the risk of not getting a high enough appraisal you need to then refinance the property to pull out your capital when you use the B triple R real estate investing strategy. Now, I've used that strategy, it's helped me build my portfolio, but that has happened to me at this property that I have right here. I did a ton of upgrades to the bones of the property, you know, new roof, new furnaces, that was a duplex, new ACs, updated the electrical, but the appraiser couldn't see these updates. And thus he appraised the property for not much more than I purchased it for, even though I had invested 60,000 in the property doing these upgrades, which they were needed. This left me sitting on this property with a ton of capital tied up in it because I couldn't refinance it to pull it out. Now with my buy, hold, improve, increase rent strategy, as I said, also known as be higher, you can avoid all the risks that come with fix and flipping strategy and the BRRR strategy. So how does this strategy work? So you can build wealth fast. Well, it's almost a hybrid of fix and flipping and BRRR. -E. Only you hold the property for the long term and you don't dump a ton of capital into doing renovations because you're buying properties that yes, are, are ugly, that's how it works, and could be updated a ton, but really don't need it. Just some TLC because they're already being rented. They're already livable, but they're just, you know, a little ugly. But first, this really only works when you invest in multi-unit properties, usually three units and up, you know, commercial too, but it could still work for smaller two-unit properties such as a duplex. So why multi-units? 
It's because when it comes to multi-unit properties, these income properties, they're valued many by, by, the, by the bottom line that it generates, the income. Whereas with a single family home, these are valued based on comparable properties that have sold in the area. You know, This is why fix and flipping works so well with single family homes because you're buying them below market value, below the value comparable properties have sold for in the area because they need work being restored to what is what a nice updated comparable property in the area is worth. This point also goes back to, to using my method with duplexes. Investors looking to buy duplexes will look at the income the property generates but comparable properties do come into play with the, with the smaller units, which makes investing in these units not a sure bet if you're gonna apply my be higher method. However, in my experience, even with duplexes in, in my market, the income, it does still matter and investors just want a certain cash on cash return to justify the price. But if a similar property next door or another duplex sold for 50,000 less than yours, you know, even though it still produces a good return resulted in a good cash on cash return that the investor wants, they're, they're going to compare it to the similar duplex next door, which will affect the value in our properties, even if the return is good. That's why I say, you know, sometimes it doesn't work with duplexes as well as it works for bigger multi-unit properties. So when you invest in three units and up, comparable properties, as I said, don't matter as much. It's all based on the income the property generates because investors are only looking for a good return on their investment. This means... Your goal is to increase the bottom line, you know, the income of your property, which in turn will increase the value of the property. So what is be higher and how does it work? Now that you know it works best when you invest in multi-unit properties. Well, it works by buying properties that are, that are tenanted, meaning they're, they're livable units and buying a property that still cash flows, usually I mean, they need to cash flow just enough to cover your expenses just in case it takes a while for the tenants to move out until you can increase the rents to market value. And that is the key with this strategy. The property must have below market rents. Now, the only negative with this strategy in terms of not building wealth as fast as you do when in, you know using the fix and flip strategy is you're holding onto the property until the tenants move out of the units, which you just don't know when, when that's gonna happen. But once they do leave, if you bought the right property, then all you need to do is some TLC, some paint, maybe some new flooring, mainly repairs to the unit from the previous tenant. Not a ton of renovations because you just don't have to because you bought the property already knowing that all you really have to do is re-rent the unit for the market rents because the rents were just too low to begin with. And since you are gonna increase the rents, this increase in the income, the market value of the property skyrockets, resulting in you building wealth fast. So let me show you, ex you know, exactly what I'm talking about, you know, on a, on a duplex that, that I purchased late in 2016, where I applied my be higher method. That's right. I'm living proof that this does work for duplexes, as I myself bought a property based on the income and the return I needed to get from that property, which needed to be at least five percent cash cash return. And this is because, as I said earlier, it needs to cash flow enough just in case, you know, you have to wait a while until the tenant moves out to, to increase the rents. Uh, quick aside, actually, some people are going to argue that the income doesn't matter for small multi-unit properties such as duplexes. It, it's all about comparable properties. However, in my experience, it, it does. That property I talked about earlier that I, that I invested 60000 in the renovations and couldn't refinance it. Well, yeah, you're probably wondering why I didn't just sell it to get my capital out. Well, it's because... The rents were too low and my income property specialist realtor couldn't get anyone to buy it for the price I wanted to sell it at. I had to sell it at, which, which actually was just the same price that, for the, that, the duplex, that a duplex sold for next door because the investors all wanted a 10% cash cash return and, and mine at a price of $300,000, which was, again, the, the same price for the identical uh, duplex that sold next door a couple months earlier, uh, only had about a 2% cash and cash return. So anyways, back to my example, here are the numbers for the side-by-side -side duplex that I purchased, which I paid only $140,000 for. Now, it was worth this because as an investor, and as I said earlier, I wanted the property to produce at least a 5% cash cash return to carry itself and not result in me having to pull, you know, put money out of my pocket into the property. So yes, this seems very low, uh, but in my market, and in my market, no mess investor was gonna pay this because investors wanted a higher cash and cash return. And, and since the property was in a beer area, which is an okay area, and it wasn't the prettiest, many also thought they'd have to update everything right away. So at this price, 
they were all passing on it, the list price. But that's the secret with my be higher strategy and why most people shy away from buying a property like this because it doesn't produce the returns they want now. And they think they have to have a pretty property and update everything to make it pretty when really as long as the property is livable and you can update items here and there and over the long term and, and not right away and just give it some TLC as that's all it probably really needs and all you really have to do, you're golden. So that's what I did. I didn't care about the now rents. I saw what the potential rents could be, which for a three bedroom unit in my market was $1,000 per month plus utilities. Even at the current condition of the property, as I said, it was, it was livable, it was nice. With the current rents way below market, market for, for a three bedroom, which uh, at the property, it was only 750 plus utilities. When I ran the numbers, I valued the property at 140,000 because as an investor using this method, I wanted, as I said, a 5% cash cash turn which meant I could buy the property at the 140 grind, which in my mind was way below market value. And why in my mind do I say that? Well, because every other investor, as I said, wanted a higher cash and cash return now. But me, I was buying it for the future market value of the property based on the future rents. And I didn't care that it was ugly. In fact, most of my properties are ugly, but when it comes to investing in multi-unit properties, which I like to buy now, the property doesn't have to be pretty. It just needs to be nice on the inside. And if you saw most of my units, you'd never think that they were that nice on the inside because they are a bit ugly. And that's the great thing about the strategy. People will look at the property and base it on the current income and the current condition, you know, the prettiness of it and think it's overpriced. It needs a ton of work so I can increase the value and they're gonna pass on it because most are looking for the nicer property with a, with a higher return to make money now. But as long as the current condition is still livable, and even though it's not the nicest property on the block, if you can hold on to it, onto the property for, for a while until you can raise the rents, which, which is key, which will then increase the income, it becomes the best strategy for building wealth fast. And all you have to do is, is be a little patient and increase the rents to increase the property's income. And you don't need to update the heck out of it using a ton of capital. Only the income matters. So just like when you're buying properties below market value because they need work, they need renovations to then sell for the price of a comparable properties in the area or buying properties, renovating them and then refinancing them with the be higher method, you're buying properties below market value because the rents are low and they're not the prettiest on the outside and holding on to the property until the tenants move out and you can increase to comparable market rents while doing only some TLC and, and you're not selling or refinancing but building equity, building wealth, and increasing the money you put in your pocket because you're making more income from the higher rents and you didn't refinance at a higher mortgage payment. Like I said, this strategy is a hybrid of these two strategies, but you're getting the best of both of them. Quick wealth, so the main result from, the, from using the fix and flip strategy, and less capital out of your pocket, the main result when using the B triple R strategy. And when you do this, which I did at my property, the value of the property goes up because an investor who was looking to purchase it for market value, they just want to make you know high cash cash return. Uh, in my market, as of 2019, most want a 7% cash cash return or a specific you know cap rate. Uh, just quick side note: these two calculations are, are used often together by most investors. If you want to learn more about cap rates, check out this video here by clicking the little button in the corner to my left, or, or my or to, to, yeah to my left, but you're right since you're watching. So back to my property. Since investors in my market are looking for about a 7% cash cash turn, my property today, because I've, I've waited until the current tenants moved out and I could increase the rents and, and just do some TLC to the units, results in an increase in the market value of the property from uh, $140,000, which I purchased it, to $250,000 today. In fact, here's a breakdown showing you how that works. Now, if you don't recall, I mentioned I just purchased this property back in 2016, only about two and a half years ago to be exact, which means I've increased my wealth by over hundred grand. This is why I say this real estate investing strategy is the fastest way to build wealth and it doesn't come with all the headaches of, of the other real estate investing strategies, nor require a ton of capital to do major renovations, which cause more headaches, making it in my mind the best and easiest way to build wealth fast. So if you wanna learn more about this method that has helped me grow my net worth to seven figures in just not even five years, you can enroll my free real estate investing bootcamp where you will learn how to get started investing in real estate 
so you too can use this strategy to build your wealth fast. I hope this helped, and if you liked this video, I'd really appreciate if you clicked on the thumbs up button below, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel so you continue your real estate investing education. Lastly, be sure to check out some of my most recent videos right here, that one to my left, your right, to learn more about how to invest in real estate. Thank you, and we're going to see you at the next one.